What's up my peeps? What's up? It's your boy Dragon Dude coming at you with another lit video. Today I am gonna show you some cool tricks in Chicken Gun. But before we dive into it, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. Want to move faster in this game? Just find a wall and give it a little love tap with your head. Boom. Instant turbo mode. Very fast. Very fast. What do you mean by that? Bruh. The second technique is a platform trick that allows us to go underneath the terrain and gain an advantage by taking out players who are on the ground above us. You can use this trick in the dual mode to shoot your enemies from beneath the platform. That's a great idea! Next up, let me show you how to spawn infinite mobs. What did he say? <laughs> yes, you heard me right. You can spawn an army of mobs with this simple trick. Who needs enemies in the game when you can just spawn an army of mobs to do the job for you? Huh? Hold up! Wait a minute! Those groups of mobs are really good at working together to form a tall tower. It's almost like they're training to become construction workers. Goodbye guys, I'm going to let these mobs eat me because you guys haven't subscribed or liked my content. Next up, this is my favorite trick. It's called Ghost Bike Drift, and it's a technique that allows your bike to drift on its own, without rider. All you need to do is get your bike up to a certain speed, and then jump off at just the right moment. Bruh! <laughs> Here we go again. Nope! Okay, for the next trick, all you need is a bike and the ability to defy gravity. That's right, with just a bike, you'll be able to scale walls like Spider-Man.
Next up, we have the binoculars trick with this trick, you can see yourself in the game and spy on your enemies at the same time. Also we'll get four hands. What? Who says gaming can't make you feel like an octopus? Nope. 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 What the hell? Time to go four arms. Now, I am going to show you a trick to spawn infinite landmines. You might be wondering what you can do with infinite landmines? Well, you can open up a landmine shop and sell them to your enemies at a discount. <laughs> Check this out. A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. <laughs> Let's see what will happen if we drop some stuff on the landmines. <laughs> Moving to the first trick. This is the easiest way to build stairs. Just use this brick slabs and move forward. Okay finish. Now let's give it a try. Serious? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I'm dying. Help me. Another one. Hey bro, watch your dick. Watch your dick bro, watch your dick! Moving to the second trick, we will use the same transparent item which I showed you guys in the last chicken gun tricks video. This item, lol. Okay, now do this. Now we place the transparent item like this. Okay, now do this. You can use this for prank someone. It looks like I'm walking in the air. Okay, let's try this with someone.
Moving to the third trick, now I'm gonna show you how to make perfect circle build in chicken gun. Watch carefully. Now bring this wall edge to your screen corner without moving. Just like this. Now put the next wall and do the same for the rest. Okay, it's finished. It's so cool. Hello guys! Moving to the fourth trick. Okay, this is the interesting trick. Just watch this. Okay, now do this. Look how fast I am. Another one. It's pretty fun and cool trick. Moving to the fifth trick. This is an emote trick and it's pretty easy. You have to tap the hand and emote together at the same time. Just like this. Um. Let's try again. Well, I finally did it. My hands are stuck. What the? Moving to the sixth trick, or maybe we can call this a glitch than a trick. This car spawned infinite eggs for no reason. Just look at this. They just randomly spawn and there is no explanation for this. Lol. Moving to the 7th trick. Now this is a hacker trick. Why? Just look at this code and watch. Hacker man. I don't know what is that. But it's a cool thing to do. Lol. Moving to the 8th trick. This is a crossbow trick. Let me show you. What is that? When you shoot to the wall it's normal. But when you shoot at the glass, this happened. It's get glitched, lol. I recommended trying this one by yourself. Bruh. Moving to the ninth trick. Now I'm gonna show you how to scope without sniper. First, we need to equip the sniper, then use this emote. Look, we still have a scope item, even I don't grab a sniper. Pretty cool right? Okay, this is the last trick in today's video. It's super fun to do, when you are bored, I guess. Woo! Yeah baby, that's what I've been waiting for, that's what it's all about. Let me show you. Okay, now do this. Another one. I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. It's not done yet. Watch and learn. It's been a while since Dragon Dude uploaded trick videos.
Now, I want to get some new tricks. Oh. Not again. Hey guys, I'm sure you've been eagerly waiting for the newest chicken gun trick video, right? Don't worry, I have plenty of tricks for you. Follow me. The first trick is the trash bin trick. What am I going to do with the trash bin? Let me show you. The first thing we need is trash bin and vehicle. Oops, make sure it fits perfectly in the trash bin. Nice. Now, close the trash bin and write it. Nope. nope, it doesn't work. But wait, if you do this, let's see. You will be able to do this. And you guys must be careful. And of course, this trick is not only for motorcycle. Close. Make sure to move the trash bin and It's cool, right? What happened if we use the flying vehicle? Close. Move or push a little bit. It works, guys, and fly smoothly without making my head spin again. And I'll name it Dump Copter. What? What happened? Ahem, let's move on to the second trick. Mob can't kill if you're sitting. Yeah, I know it sounds funny and weird, and never mind. Let me show you, let's spawn the mobs, and I gonna prove that I am not invincible. Now let's try on the piano bench, and let's sit. As you can see, the mob can't damage me. But the mob can destroy the piano. <laughs> Alright, let's try using a different seat, sofa. See guys? What if the mobs attack from the front? Um let me try again, let's try it with this stone chair. Now they pushing me. Hey mobs, I'm your king, go to me, not push me. Lol, this trick kinda works, they first destroy the chair and then the player. Anyway, let's move on to the third trick. Because the trick before, mobs pushing my chair. Now I will show you how to make mobs push your vehicle. Let's dive into the trick. For the first vehicle for mobs to push is... A tank. Don't worry guys, the mobs are going to be okay. Are you sure about that? And spawn the skeleton, ride your vehicle. Or skeleton. This looks so funny. Let's add more skeleton. Wow, awesome. Why is the skeletons pushing a tank? Because they wants to revive the engine. Um? If they can handle a tank, surely, a tractor is a piece of cake. And the school bus too. Not only pushing, but they can also lift it. And cause rollover accidents. The skeleton get fired, let's move on to trick number 4. What happens if you, select the same gun while reloading? Curious, right, let's check this out. So, as the trick I said before, let's change into guns. This is normal. But, if you do this, reload, click on the same weapon. It's stuck. And now, Let's try another weapon, reload, and click the same weapon. It's cool right? Let's try using this in PvP. Let's start it. Bruh. Reload and click. Bruh. Well guys, I don't know if it improves the damage or not, but yeah, let me know if you notice any difference. Arrows get stuck in the new racing map. Huh? How is that possible? Let's find out. Alright, now I'm on the map grid and equipped with a bow. This is normal, like the normal bow and arrow, and nothing happened. But if you go to the newest racing map, RVP Track 4, 
Still nothing happened, but nope. if you shoot in this way, see. Let's try with a crossbow. As you can see, when shooting on this side of the map, the arrows get stuck. Maybe there's someone. Ahem, must be my imagination. But guys, this trick is perfect for impressing fringe or other players. Haha. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next trick. This trick is a bit funny. Stepfather Mouth Stop Dancing. Whoa, let me tell you how. All you need is, piano. Spawn any car. Huh? And spawn the stepfather. Use the car to escape from the stepfather's mob. <laughs> then go play the piano. Okay, he's coming. Damn. As you can see, he stopped dancing for some reason. Now this is either a glitch or something really off about this mob, but if he comes from the backside. He won't stop dancing and kill you. Kinda weird. Let's move on to the next trick. Vehicle can carry snow and water. Maybe it sounds strange, but you guys can actually do it. Don't believe it, let me show you. So I'm now in the magic forest, where it's bright without any rain or snow. Let's spawn the car, and spawn snow, then also rain. And put the snow in the car. Nope! Huh? Wait, guys! Hey! Bruh! Let's try it. Nope! Wait, let me try it again. Let's try with another vehicle. Bruh. Nope! This trick is a bit tricky guys, so you need to be patient and careful. And find a gap to fit this object into the vehicle. And I accidentally performed another trick within the trick. Patience is the key guys. Did it work? Oh finally. It works guys. Damn? It's cool guys. Let's try with snow. Find the gap. Oh suddenly, the rain tool came out on its own. Maybe this trick works for just one tool. Let me know in the comments guys. Oh, it's in. Is it working? It's working, guys. Remember guys, patience is the key. Wow this was really so cool. Okay. Let's move on to the next trick. Instead of calling it a trick, it seems more like a glitch. And the first glitch is, Chicken Gun Extended Map Glitch. The first glitch is from, Dust Map. Okay. If from here, straight ahead this way. Spawn the slab, then go upwards. You'll be able to see it. Do you guys know where it is? Okay let me show you something. Let's try going there. So guys, this server is only used for fights PvP, and many players have not noticed that there is an unfinished part. Yup, that's right, the place I just visited using the slab is the unfinished part. That's why there are walls here. You can also use the teleporter to enter it. It's easy right. But this part is inaccessible while playing PvP, so, you can't hide or camp here. And it is pretty much empty here. Let's move on to the next glitch. Shallow House Snow Map Glitch. You must be wondering if there's a glitch here, let me show you. Head towards the area where there's a tractor, and stand right next to the red tree, then turn around. This is a glitch of this map, hope Chalox fix this glitch soon. No eyes. Go to store, skins. Now I'm using chicken skins. And all you need to do is, click the TV skins, apply, then switch back to the skins you prefer. Hee <laughs> wait, I can't see anything. And if you want to use other skins, you can still do it, and the method is the same. I still can't see. 
Okay guys, this is an extra trick and bonus for you all. Make stuff fly. The method is quite simple guys. This time, I used an iron structure. Just position it so it can attach to the flying vehicle and try it. Ahem. Well guys, I don't know how to make something out of it, but you can try to create some cool structures, I guarantee it. Let's move on. In the Shallow House map, there's not only a glitch, but there's something else. Is it a glitch, or perhaps a trick? No. This is not a trick or glitch, but more like a fact. If you jump higher, you will see a penguin, you guys must know that, but... Do you know that the penguin standing here, versus the one we spawn are differently? Look at this! Quite different, right? Especially from the height, but at least now, he had a new friend. So adorable guys, hand over you money. Man, I missed Dragon Dude Tricks videos already. Where are you Dragon Dude? Oh, is that him? Hello guys, I heard what you said before. Um. Sorry? This flashlight has started to become a habit for me lol. Anyway, you said that you waiting for my tricks video in Chicken Gun. So my trick videos are already that popular? Ha ha ha. Ahem. Anyway, welcome back to tricks that you can do in Chicken Gun. Look out good, let's go! And there are some tricks I discovered from your comments and some of them I discovered from other source, so some of them have screenshot while many are not. So let's go to the first trick. This first trick is called Bear Flower. I discovered from the comments before, he said you can use the bear mob and spawn the limit of spawns and try to make them shape like a flower, and when you kill them at the same time and fly up. It's majestic. Alright, let's try it. I'll use this trampoline to spawn them at the same time. Why I use trampoline? Yeah, I probably will die if I spawn them on the ground low. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I reached the limit for the mobs. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's kill them at the same time. I like this. This is cute. Well, that was pretty beautiful lol. Let's move on to the next trick. Okay, I also discovered this trick by Nazmaker in the comments. He said you can hit yourself by using the hands and aiming at your feet. What? Sounds cool. Let's do it. Wait. Where is my aim button? Why is it missing? Oh wait. Yeah, that sandwich is amazing. But hold up, I'm serious. Where is my aim button? We must stay focused, brothers. Let's try another mode. Bruh. It's still missing. Let's try clearing cash on chicken gun. Bruh. I don't know what's happening, guys. Okay. After a while I tried to figure it out, I can't fix it. But the good news is, I can still use the aim button. Is the aim button invisible or what? Anyway, let's try the trick shall we? Okay first, we need to use the hand, and then aiming it into our feet. Oh it works, it's pretty cool lol. Okay. The third trick is also from the YouTube comments. His username is Who the hell? Hey yo, what the? Anyway, he tried to tell us a cool trick. He said, first pick a gun that have a scope, and then press the scope, then press weapon selection and choose the gun you want. And now you have a scope and a gun that didn't have a scope like pistol, crossbow, and many more. Okay, let's try it. I'll do what he said before. I'll try to use this sniper rifle that has a scope, and then while I'm scoping, I'll pick another gun, maybe this laser pistol. It should be works right? Oh, it works. Now I'm scoping with the laser pistol. Let's do it again. Using a scoped gun, then open the scope, and now select another gun, maybe this time is the default SMG. It works. 
this is awesome lol. Moving to the fourth trick, in this trick we can see a beautiful moon in the underground, and this trick is kinda hard to do because it was pretty tricky, let me show you. First, we go to the island map, then spawn the computer with a camera, and now grab the camera and put it underground like I do. Then put a slab near you put the camera before. And now put one of the teleports on the same spot too with the slab and the camera. Next, we enter the teleport and then... Voila! Pretty moon underground the island. Can we reach the moon? Let's try it. Veil, we can't reach it lol. Moving on to the fifth trick. Um... Actually this is more likely a fun fact than a trick lol, but yeah, I'll keep it in this video. Okay. Did you know that is a new item that has a bug after the new update? Let me show you. So these are the normal tree, we can shoot them all until they are disappeared. But, when you shoot at this new white tree, you can't shoot it. Even you can walk through it lol. Hey yo, what the- So yeah, these white trees are in bug right now lol. Pretty cool right? Moving to the next one, same as before, this is a fun fact again lol. Do you know, there is a funny bug with a golf cart. Let me show you. So, this is a normal car, this one too, this too, and even this motorcycle too. But, when you enter the golf cart. Bruh? What's happening with my hands? It's like jittering so fast lol. Even while you are driving, it still looks jittery. Pretty funny bug lol. Moving to the next trick, you guys already know that cat skins are can't use a beak right? But, what if I tell you that we are still able to use beak while using the cat skins? How? Let me show you, so this is the cat skins, pretty cute lol. And the trick is, in the cat skins, you need to change the suits and then get back to the skins and choose your default skins. Keep doing it until you get the cat skins with the beak. Let's try to use the skin in the game. Yeah. It works. Look at me. I'm a cat dude right now. Lol. Moving to the next one. This is a hand color change trick for the cat skins. It was pretty cool too. So let me show you. First, you need to change your suit to the cat skins and then use the white suit from the cat skins. Then go to the in-game with any game modes, in this case I'll go to the offline mode to make it easier. Hello there. And as you can see, my color hands are pretty normal white with the skin. Then spawn the hoverboard and use it. Voila, my hands color is changing. Lol, pretty awesome tricks right? Moving to the next trick, in this one, you can make the price or apply button on the shop disappear. Let me show you. So this is a normal shop, the price or apply button is still in here. Now back to the lobby and then click the chicken gun logo right here to change the background. And then come back to the shop and voila. The apply or price button is missing lol. It's still missing until you restarted the game. Anyway, even the price button is missing. This doesn't mean you can buy the guns for free. Moving to the next trick, this is a hoverboard with a fridge glitch and it's pretty funny when you use it in the game lol, let me show you. First, you need to spawn the fridge, and then put it like this. Oops. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Yeah, put it like this, and now spawn the hoverboard, and open the fridge, then put the hoverboard inside the fridge. Um, let's try it again. Aha, uh -huh, like this. And now close the fridge door then use the hoverboard. Voila. It's so funny to look at this trick roll. Even when you are leave the hoverboard, it's still spinning aggressively roll. Okay. And now moving on to the last trick in today's video. This one is no less cool than the other tricks before. Even this trick is looks funny too. Let me show you. First spawn the trash bin like this, and open the trash bin. Then spawn the Mr. Stepfather mob inside the trash bin and close the trash bin. Hey yo, what the- Bruh. Uh-huh. 
Now you can make fun with a Mr. Stepfather mob like this lol. No! No, don't do it! Yeah! Yeah! Even you can make the Mr. Stepfather mob flying like this. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Okay, that's all for today's video. You can try these tricks at home right now, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have you ever wondered, what is the best way to earn coins in Chicken Gun? Is it racing? Or maybe duel? Or maybe some of you think Tanks TF is the best? Don't worry my friend, I am here to let you know what is the best way to earn coins and what is the worst way to earn coins in Chicken Gun. Look again, let's go! So let's hop into the game shall we? Oh wait. Um, please wait a minute. Ah, much better. What was that? No no. You don't see anything. Alright, in today's video I'll test these 5 popular game modes for earning coins, and we will start with the racing mode. Let's go. First game already facing this map? Alright, it's okay, let's race. Ayo. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I think I finished one lap right now. But why? Okay, let's just continue. They got it! Okay, there we go. Finally get to the lap 2, which should have been lap 3. Bruh, not again. First game already faced the worst map and now I'm facing a bug too. Okay, let's just continue. Alright, final lap, let's go. Huh? Are you serious? Okay, I'm done. My disappointment is immeasurable. Alright, finally another racing mode game. At the first game I got 5th place and earned an average of 58 coins. And then in the second game I got 1st place and earned an average of 79 coins. And now the third game. I facing this worst map again. But yeah, finally I don't face the bug and I got 1st place again woo. And also I earned an average of 144 coins. This map gives more coins, maybe because this map is quite long. So, you guys already know that racing is doing pretty good job of earning coins, and it's time for the plant bomb mode, will this game give us more coins that racing? Let's find out! Hello there. Wait, I'm sure that I hate this chicken so much. Wow. Does he's getting bad? Or just AFK? I don't know lol. Okay, at the first game I got a win and I'm on top with a score 160, but I only got an average of 15 coins. What? And at the second game, I lost because they're defusing the bomb. I'm in second place with a score 20, and do you know how many coins I get? Yes. Only got an average of 5 coins. Are you serious? This is torture. Well, as you know, Plant Bomb don't give us many coins, but that mode was pretty fun to play lol. So it's time to the Elite Squad mode. Will this mode give us more money than Plant Bomb? Let's find out. This mode is quite easy if you already know the trick. All we need to do is go behind this wall and grab the car like this. 
Then we just need to go up the car, and fly to the helicopter. Finish, lol. And we got an average of 83 coins, that was pretty good. Nice. Let's do it again, at the second game I did the same method as before. And then I got the same amount as before, an average of 83 coins, so I wonder what if I did it again for the third time. And yeah. I got the same amount again, an average of 83 coins. He was special. Okay, the elite squad mode really did not disappoint us, the amount of coins we earn also great, but how about the dual mode that we will test after this, will it be better or not? Let's find out. Okay, I'll do the trick like I mentioned in my past video before, I'll use the jump pad trick, I think I will win this game so easily, lol. And yeah, a big win in the first game, I got the top at leaderboard with a score 70, and I also get an average of 25 coins in this game. So let's do it again. At the second game, I got a win again, and earned an average of 25 coins. And at the third game, I got a little bug. I just came to the server and then I just lost? But yeah, because of this bug we knew when we lost we got an average of 7 coins lol. Because of that bug, I just tried to find another match again. Whoa. He just left the game. <laughs> but yeah, another big win again, lol. And in this fourth game, I got an average of 25 coins again. Okay, the dual mode also not bad to earn coins, and how about this tanks TF, the last mode that I will test in today's video. Let's find out. At the first game I got 8th place with score 3 and earned an average of 35 coins. Then I tried it again for the second game. What's up? And now for the second game, I got 3rd place with a score 8 and earned an average of 50 coins. Hey, that's pretty good. Then I tested it again for the last game. And finally got 5th place with a score 7 and earned an average of 47 coins. Wow. Alright, this time for the summary and choose what is the worst and the best for earning coins in Chicken Gun. Disclaimer, these coins are an average of what I got in the game, you may have less or more than I have right now. And yeah, these are the coins that I got for each mode, and I already ranked them from the best to the worst. So, as you can see, the plant ball mode is the worst method to earn coins, but that doesn't mean this game mode is not fun to play. I have played this mode and to be honest, this mode is pretty fun. And for the elite squad, this mode is the best because of the amount of coins you can get and how fast you can clear the stage. So, that's all for today's video. Let me know what is your opinion on the comment down below. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. For this trick, you only need to use this street. and put it vertical like this.
And now the magic is happening. Let's try it with Huggy Wuggy. On my way, son! Door stuck! Door stuck! Hey, y'all, come look at this. There's no food! This is. Let's prank someone in the public. Hey, yo, what the? Hey, what happened? This tricks is so much fun to play for PvP mode. You easily instant kill someone with this trick. What the? All you need is just grab the mine and find the target who wants to be blown up. And where is the people? Enemy spotted. Okay, now it's time. Um. Okay, let's do it again. Hello there. A few moments later. And yeah, I won this game, lol. Okay, for the jump pad trick, you will need a jump pad. Okay, never mind, let's just continue to the trick. I call this trick, the jumping car. And I call this trick the bouncing car. Yeah, it's kinda work. Okay, I have an idea. Let's try this. Okay, I don't know how to call this, but yeah, it's still a cool trick. Let me show you. My disappointment is immeasurable. Another one. That looks so cool.
Now we try with laser gun. Okay. And now the last part with two RPG. Oh! Awesome tricks, right? Okay, so this is the funniest trick in today's video. I will sit on the falling chair. Let me show you. Another one. Helicopter, helicopter. Lol. Another one. It's so funny and yeah, it's cool too. Hey guys! Get ready to have some fun with Chicken Gun because I've got a trick up my sleeve for you. Wait, where's my sleeve? Never mind, let's dive right into the trick. I'm gonna show you, which mouths can do this cool floating thing. Oh no. Look at this mobs, these mobs float, while the others. <laughs> Not so much, hee <laughs> hee. That was close haha. -ha. Not only can float, but this spider can also make sounds like a metronome. I'll add one more. Wow! The sound is cool. Let's go to the second trick. You can sit on mobs. Yes, you heard me right. In this game, you can actually take a seat right on top of those mobs. It's like having your own personal mob chair. Let's try spawning Siren Head. If you're already at a sufficient height, jump toward above the mob and see. Bruh. I guess it doesn't work with Siren Head. Let's try with Huggy Wuggy. Once you're on top of the mobs, use this emote, the one and only chicken repair. Now, you have a cozy mob seat, you can also dance on top of them. This is fun. Um, be careful guys, this is a bit dangerous. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh wow. Lol. There's my chair. Huh? Um, let's move on to trick number three. This trick will use this portal, but it's a bit different from the usual. When you get into yellow portal, you get big. When you get into green portal, you get small again. But, 
If you move the portal like this, then, you go into the portal. Dragon dude, what happened? Okay, let's see what happens. Bruh. I think there's some problem. Hey, let's swap the positions of these portals. <laughs> now you can stand vertically. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's dive into trick number 4. In Chicken Gun, you can do two emotes at the same time. First, open the emotes menu, then, open the weapons menu, and what you need to do is press the both icons, as an example, I choose this one and this one. Um, I can't see anything. And next, get into any vehicle. Baba Bowie. Open the emotes menu again, select the second emote you want to use. Helicopter, helicopter! Paracopter, paracopter. Let's try with another vehicle. And now, let's choose this. Bruh. Oh my god! And that's how you use two emotes at the same time. Bye, have a great time! Alright, let's jump into trick number 5. Like trick number 3, but you'll be using this portal, and do it like this. <coughs> then make it higher. <coughs> let's try entering the portal. Because it's called Dino Flip not Dragon Dude Flip. I'm going to use a dinosaur, but now, let's try it with a vehicle. Bruh. Nope. Bruh. Oh, it ah, never mind let's go with the dinosaur. Nope. Huh? White? I'll try to spawn the Dino, while I've entered the portal. Okay, let's try it. Nope. Bruh. Okay, let's try again. Open the spawn menu. And then, shoot the dinosaur. Let's try. Nope. Nope. This trick gonna take some time. Maybe. Nope. 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 I was just trying to make the Dino flip too. Maybe it is not working now. Let me know in the comments if it's working for you or not. I'll give it one last try. Nope. Wait, did you see that? Alright, let's try one more time, maybe it works if the portal is higher. And let's see. Huh? Yeah. Finally. Note, make sure the portal is very high. Please help me. Lol ha ha ha. Let's moving on to trick number 6. In this trick, we'll be using this jump pad. Place the jump pad like this. Then add another jump pad next to it. Make sure it is placed well and neatly. Then add more. Nice. And make sure there are no gaps. The more jump pads you make, the more fun it is. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> Baba Bowie. It could be 
endless if you execute it properly. What vehicle should I try next? Where is the bike? This is so fun. I think it's enough. Alright, let's move on to trick number 7. Because it's not midnight yet, I'm going to set it manually. Go to settings. Turn off automatic time zone. Set time to 00.00. After setting the time, let's visit the meat chicken. Oh my god, I'm scared. What you need is this chair. Huh? You might be confused, let me show you. When he comes out, you have to sit on the chair as quickly as possible. Look, my health decreases if I don't sit on the chair. Let's try it again. See? Pretty cool, right? Lol ha ha. Anyway, let's go to the last trick. The way to get out of the map is jump pad. But it's not just one jump pad. Stack as many as you can. If you are done, get into any vehicle. But, I recommend you use a car. And drive it toward jump pads. Um. Why is it so dark here? Help me please. Hello guys, it's me Dragon Dude, and welcome to series tricks that you can do in Chicken Gun. Today I'll show you some cool tricks that you can try it at home. Wait, so we can try this too. Of course, 100% I'm sure you can try this too. Awesome. I'll grab some snacks and watch the video until the end. Alright, let's move on to the trick number one. Okay, this trick is really easy and simple, all you need to do is change your suit rapidly like this. Then go back to the lobby and as you can see, my profile picture shows me wearing a blue suit, even though I still use my daily suit. Pretty cool right? Let me show you again. Now my profile picture shows me wearing a green suit, and yeah, I still use my daily suit like before lol. And now moving to the second trick, this trick is kinda hard to do, because you need to spawn Huggy Wuggy and direct it to the near of the wall. Let me show you how to do it. Ouch. This is the reason why I said it was kinda hard to do lol. Let's try it again. Okay, perfect. Now all you need is just stand close to the wall like this. Tada! The map glitch out lol, and if you walk a little, you can see Huggy Wuggy's face glitching out too. Pretty amazing right? Now you can try it and careful with that Huggy Wuggy. Moving to the third trick, now this trick is for you to always win the bomb mission. Why? Because in this map you can glitch under the map and shoot everyone, let me show you how to do it. You just need to come in this red house, and then walk through it until you find this hole. Tada! Now you are glitching under the map lol. Now let me try to show you in the actual game, just walk into this house like I said before. 
And yeah, just shoot everyone in here lol. Okay now the fourth trick, this trick is pretty easy and also looks cool. All you need to do is get shot by people. And when you are died, you need to change the camera rapidly like this. Now you can see that I'm glitching out the game lol. The name and the crosshair are pretty glitch out. Now let's try with a different map. Bruh? The number of surviving players is dwindling so fast. Come on, somebody shoot me. Are you serious? Wait what? Only one player left. Enemy spotted. Um? I just want to see how the glitch work in other map, but ended up being kicked low. Let's try it again. I'll do the same method as before. Well, it's just the same glitch. So let's just move on to the next trick shall we? Okay, moving to the fifth trick. This trick is for trolling someone, and it's also pretty funny. All you need to do is put the teleport portal like this. And voila, you already created a teleport trap. When someone tries to go inside this trap, they will get infinite loop up and down in this teleport portal. Help me! It's kind of funny to be honest, lol. Moving to the sixth trick, this trick is for you to fight other chicken in PvP mode, all you need to do is use this holy item called jump pad. Just spam spawn the jump pad while you want to shoot other chickens like I do in this video. It will make you harder to get shot by other chicken because you are always bouncing and moving with this jump pad. Hello there. Hey yo, what the? Pretty cool trick, right? Moving to the seventh trick. This is the coolest trick in today's video. Did you know that you can go to the secret island while doing elite squad mode? What? I'll show you how to do it. All you need to do is complete all the challenges, and then just wait the time ends. Another one. Bruh, the other chickens are leaving. We need at least one player to do this challenge. My disappointment is immeasurable. But yeah, I'll keep trying it by myself. Let's wait the time ends. A few moments later. Now when the time ended, you can go with a car or other vehicles like this. Voila! The secret island in the elite squad mode. Okay, moving to the eighth trick. Um, actually, this can be called as a fact than a trick. Lol, but yeah, I'll keep it in today's video. Did you know that in Chicken Gun there are so many vehicles that invisible and some of them aren't? You can tell the difference by looking at the explosion. The normal vehicles will explode when you throw them into the lava. But the invisible vehicles don't. Pretty awesome facts right? Okay, moving to the last trick in today's video, this one is no less cool than the other tricks. All you need to do is spawn something that you can sit on, like a chair or even a motorcycle. And then stand near it until the door icon pops up like this. Now when you get killed in this position, 
you can immediately teleport to the chair or motorcycle that you get killed before. Let's try it again. He did it! Pretty awesome, right? Hey guys today I'm gonna show you some cool tricks in Chicken Gun, let's begin, wait you miss my dance? Here you go. Okay, now let's get into the first trick. The wheel flip trick, use this and follow my step. Rotate it and build it like this. There you go, now let's spin it like a fidget spinner. Oops. I'm sorry, let's try again. Helicopter, helicopter! Yes, finally. No! God, please, no! No! Six and a half hours later. Bye, have a great time! Look guys, we did it. That's how you do a wheel flip trick. Oh god, it was so fast. Bruh. This one is gonna be long last. Now let's get into the second trick. The yellow mine in Battle Royale. This trick is about killing other players using the mine instead of guns, which is faster if you execute it properly. This is the mine. You need to hold and move the mine. Like this. Now let's bring this mine into the enemy. Enemy spotted. Don't do it. Mission failed. We'll go next time. Let's try that again. Hello? No! God! Boom. Look guys, we did it. Ha ha ha. Okay guys, let's try it again. I love Pakistan! I will sacrifice my life for Pakistan! Killing enemy with mine is so fun, right? Okay, now let's move into the third trick, guys. What is that? Anyways, guys, let's go to the third trick. This is the cage trick with truck. Will you eat this truck for the trick? Okay, now we have the truck. Now we need a cage. Select and use this cage. Okay, guys, now let's put it on top of the truck. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, what do we got here? Yes, the trick gonna be look like this, guys. Now let's try to drive this truck. Oh my god, the truck is stuck. Are you serious? Hey, I think I can help you. Okay, let me see. Okay, it's good now, let me try spin a monster. Oh god, that's really work slow. You better watch out, dragon dude. Oh god. Bruh. Are you okay there? Oh no. Help me dragon dude. I think I'm stuck. Oh no. No. Now the monster is chasing me. Why is this monster is so strong?
Oof there you go now the monster is gone. Haha. <laughs> okay guys now let's moving on to the fourth trick. This trick same like before but with helicopter. First let's prepare the cage. And then we need the shipping containers. Now let's spawn the helicopter. Okay guys I'm back, now follow my step, put the cage inside to shipping container first, and now move the helicopter and put it inside this shipping container and cage. It will looks like this guys. Alright now let's hop on helicopter. Oh wait and forget. We need to move this container a little bit too. Yes like that. And there you have it guys. The cage trick with helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter! That trick is fun right? Okay now let's moving to the last trick. Okay guys this trick is about you shooting faster. First you need a piano. And then let's play the piano. Look at this guys we did it. Okay now let's try another gun. out like this guys see this is work stop it get some help hey dragon dude i want to try to go ahead max as it is so fun ah <sighs> Oops, I think I killed Maxis accidentally. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> That's it for today video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Help me! Help me! Two thousand years later.